Sam, how are you? It's been two months now since you've made the move across the Irish Sea to join us at the Blues. How have you found your time in Waterford to date? No, it's been uh, really good to be fair. Obviously, I've only been here a short time, but I feel like I've fit into the group quite well. Um, all the lads have been really good with me and I'm enjoying every day so far. The training's really good. I couldn't have uh, wished for much more, really. Is it tough for players like yourself joining the side midway through their season when you're technically only in pre-season yourself? Yeah, it is a bit different because obviously they're in like the run of the fixtures, like playing games week in, week out. Whereas like I'm technically like like you say in pre-season, but I feel like I've got up to speed like fairly quick. And obviously like I've started playing a few games recently, so hopefully it stands me in good stead. Well, I think it's fair to say that your pre-season, if we're to call it that, here has uh, paid off recently with a, an excellent man of the match performance against Dundalk here at the RSC a couple of weeks ago. How did that feel? No, obviously it was a really good feeling to get my, like, my first start in the league and obviously to top it off with a performance like we did getting the three points and getting man of the match obviously a great feeling. But obviously it was down to the training like, each day, uh, working hard, and that allowed me to produce a performance like that. How important are things like the man of the match or even to get your first goal for the club? Does it feel like a bit of pressure is off your back now? Yeah, I feel like it is. Um, obviously, you want to get going as quick as you can, especially as a striker. Like scoring goals is the main objective. So to get a goal that early, it sort of feels like a weight's been lifted. And hopefully I can carry on in the same run of form. You've developed as a player in such prestigious academies as Manchester City and Southampton. How was your experience at both of those clubs? No, yeah, they were both really good. Um, obviously, I was at City when I was younger for around 11 years. Um, and that was a good like grounding in football to be able to learn at an academy like that. It was obviously really good. And then Southampton was a bit different. Obviously, it was plagued with injuries, but like it was different to Man City in terms of the way they want to play. So I feel like I've got a good balance of like how to play football, really. Now, obviously, last week's result didn't go our way, but I think the general consensus amongst uh, experts, if you like, and the fan base itself was that we were maybe a bit better than the scoreline suggested. How has the, um, the atmosphere been like in the training camp this week? No, I think it's been good, because obviously the result doesn't look good on paper, but I believe that we played well. Like it, We didn't deserve to get beat 3-0. Obviously, it was down to a few mistakes but I believe that the performance didn't suggest that it was a 3-0 scoreline but hopefully this week we put that right and get what we deserve. And what sort of game are you guys expecting when Galway travel here on Friday evening? No, we, we all know how tough Galway are as a team to play against like they love getting balls into the box and they know what they're good at so it's obviously up to us to combat that and hopefully nullify what their threat is and we can go and play our own game like we have done for the past couple of weeks. And lastly, Sam, how important do you think the Blues supporters can be in the final five games in the run into the end of the season? No, oh, they can be massively important. Obviously, we've only got five games left and we all know like what's to play for. So if they can get behind us like they have done like throughout my time here, then I believe they'll be a great help.